Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney. It's a great Friday afternoon here on Wall Street, but I've got that beat because I'm in my seat and I'm at the NYSC and the weekend is here for both you and me. But guess what? It's time to get set. The market's there about to close. So take yourself a breath because tonight, after 3,278 days, the New York Mets are back in postseason play and I'm hyped. So what else do I have to say? It's almost four o'clock. The weekend is about to start. It's time to get out of here and close up for the week because it's an early Friday happy hour here in the Big Apple. U.S. stocks, they're trading in a tight range this Friday as investors look to close a solid week of gains that saw a new earnings season and the release of the FOMC minutes. But let's talk about today first, as on the data front, import prices falling 0.1% in September, less than the expected half a percent drop. However, export prices down 0.7%, more than the 0.2% forecast by economists. Also, we had wholesale trade for August showing a 0.1% increase in inventories, while wholesale sales declined 1%. Now, in oil markets, crude trading 1% higher, still holding above the $50 a barrel mark. And we also have earnings season getting underway with JP Morgan results next Tuesday. Alcoa already reporting earnings after the close yesterday that missed on both the top and bottom lines. Now, you team that with the U.S. dollar lower against its counterparts. No significant earnings expected today. And gold futures on the upside, $13. $13.30, then you have yourself a session right behind me right now where three stocks have advanced for every two decliners at the big board. Let's take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out not just this session, but the week as well. And for more corporate news, check out our earlier ModernWallStreet.com Market Movers report. And because it's a Friday, it's with yours truly. And with that stated, we, can conclu we conclude, as always, with sports. Got to breathe because we have to beat LA. Two games this weekend. And for all of the faithful and natives of Flushing, Queens, like myself, we've waited nine years for this. And let's watch these boys with pride this postseason. It's the first time as an adult I can wear a New York Mets hat in October and not be laughed at. We've endured a lot. And guess what? It's finally our time to smile. And have ourselves some cheering for our team so never forget those long nights the constant swearing aggravation fist punching into the bar counter coffee table throwing remote controls it's our time to shine as Mets fan make us proud beat LA and let's go Mets let's go Mets let's go Mets and for modernwallstreet.com from the New York Stock Exchange on a Friday afternoon saying let's go Mets I'm James Swinney